Hey right, everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Jordan Report and I'm your host Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay guys, we're going to go up to New York now. I said I'm going to be showing these local news clips. The news is going so fast, we can't possibly keep up with it. So all I can do is show you these local clips because they can't lie very much. This was New York. This is what's going on in New York. The trend of troubling gun violence continues in the city. Someone opened fire during a memorial at a Brooklyn park, the exact spot where two teenagers, teenagers were shot and killed Sunday night. News Force Rana Novini is in East New York. We know we heard from the NYPD's chief of detectives today, Rana. Yeah, and David, officers here at the 75th precinct here in East New York have had a busy few days investigating multiple shootings. This is the number of shootings remains on the rise across all five boroughs. As people stopped to mourn two teenagers killed by gunfire, another shooting in the same spot. Police say a group had gathered at a vigil Monday night outside George Walker Jr. Park in Cypress Hills. That's when someone opened fire from about 50 yards away, hitting a 22 year old man in the shoulder. We don't know if our victim was the intended target, especially from that distance, uh, but we do believe that they were definitely trying to shoot at that crowd that, were, that was attending the vigil. The NYPD chief of detectives stopping by the scene Tuesday, saying they believe the shootings in the park are likely connected and may be gang related. On Sunday night, a gunman fired from a moving SUV. You see him here, standing up through the sunroof. Police say he shot three teens playing basketball in the park, killing two of them. It was one of eight homicides in the city on Sunday alone. A little bit of a perfect storm between COVID, between the courts closing down, between uh, bad people being left out of jail, as well as you know, people feel a lot more comfortable carrying guns. Every family in the United States have a, 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 a scare now. In the neighborhood, fear the violence will continue. About a mile away from the park, there was yet another shooting Tuesday morning on Wyona Street. Three men were shot and are expected to recover. The mayor today addressing the increased violence once again. We're calling on the state to reopen the court system fully. Uh, we're going to fight this back. That is the bottom line. Back in Cypress Hills, we met Isaac Mickens, putting up signs, promoting his idea to create more community watch groups, saying the police can only do so much. You've got to put something in place that's going to be stationary 24 hours a day to stop these heinous crimes that's being carried out across America and in these five boroughs. Yeah, and police stressed today that they need the public's help identifying suspects in all of these shootings. Reporting live in East New York, Brandon Ovini, News 4, New York. Okay, guys, that's what's going on in New York. This is the only way I can show you this stuff. This is going on throughout the country, people. All the major cities are on fire. 